Hello. Can everybody hear me? Ricky and Isan here. It says I'm live. Just better check the mic is working and I don't sound like a chimp monk like last time. Someone just give me a give me confirmation and then we'll uh jump straight in. I just turned dad's air conditioner off which is behind me and it's I don't know, forty degrees, I'm sweating already. It's actually quite good, that little air conditioner. You leave the windows open, I've learnt. I shut all the windows and doors and then it just got really sticky when I had a nap last Sunday. But uh, yeah, it's doing quite good. Cool, Rowdy Train confirms we are working. So we had David, Lemon Farm, Thailand, great guy. Just let me know, he won't be here. He's a bit busy, 42 degrees in Boriram for him. Uh, I had a parcel from David arrive today. I haven't opened it yet, but I put it straight in the fridge. White Tim Tams, which are quite hard to find here, so. I'm going to try my best not to eat them all in one go. Ant, how you going, mate? Good to see you here. Andy. So Andy's got a question here. Now, this question's already been sent in, so I'm going to answer this part of the... Uh, I've got about 16 questions that people have sent in. I'm going to go through them. I'll try not to dedicate too much time to each question. Otherwise, if I, do, if I do an hour, I'll just be on the questions. I love interacting with the chat. But yeah, Andy, that's, uh, yeah. that one's coming up, mate. That one is coming up. Rick Hess, how you going, mate? Hope you're doing well. Oz Scale Modeling, Oz Scale Modeling, I should say, in Chiang Mai. I hope it's uh, yeah, not too poisonous up there at the moment, mate. I'm actually going to Bangkok tomorrow. So I've got a thousand baht flight to Bangkok. Got a few things on. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog it or not. I'd like to know if I should vlog it. I don't know if I can do anything worth vlogging, but should I try and vlog it? I guess there's no harm in trying. I don't have to upload it. But yeah, I've got the, the flight from Concan to Bangkok nice and early tomorrow morning. Just trying to figure out what to do with the dog. That's been stressing me out. But I did uh, I did consider Chiang Mai, but it was just yeah, the, the air quality up there is horrendous. How are you going, Gav? Good to see you again. Hey hot in Norway, how are you doing? We've got Mark up in Konkan Udontani border. Ah! Mum's here, how you going mum? <laughs> Kim, Shong, Purple Monkey Dishwasher, I've got a question from you lined up. Yeah, I don't sound like a chimp monk this time, thankfully. Julie, thanks for stopping by Julie, I appreciate it. Toby Price, roasting here in Chombori, hiding in a shade, Thai style. I've got the windows and the front door open. Uh, the, the road's quite loud here. I don't know if I had the door open last time I did a live stream here, quite a while ago now. So hopefully it doesn't get too loud. But I guess it's school holidays, there's not too much traffic. We've got Oscar watching from the Philippines. Margie, how are you Margie? Waza. Hey mate, have a great stream. Going out for dinner with friends at a local Thai restaurant. I'm sure to be a little more expensive than in the land of smiles. Enjoy your dinner, Waza. Rowdy, g'day all that have logged in for the live stream, please leave a thumbs up. Appreciate it, Rowdy. Alrighty, I'll jump into a couple of questions and I'll try and continue through the chat. I just want to apologise beforehand. Uh, last time I did a live stream, some people got a bit upset. They thought I was ignoring them, but generally, I don't know. I just seem to fall behind in the chat, and then by the time I get to your question, some people are already upset and already taken off. But we'll jump through, smash these questions out. Eh? There's some good ones here. I like it. Bring it up on screen. If you guys can see that one. Brilliant Blue. Are you enjoying having your own space away from the Thai family now? Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm uh, enjoying being away from the Thai family, uh, to be brutally honest, it is a little more awkward than what life was previously, but I was there today with them actually, uh, I went to visit the twins this morning, brought them down some milk as well, uh, had a great time with them, and, and it's good to see them, uh, I've, I've really probably become really close with the brother-in-law, me, me and him, we're, we're always fine, but now I think me and him have like really got a bond going, so he, he's a great guy. And Grandma as well. I've gotten a lot closer with her. Not, not that I wasn't, you know, close with them at all previously, but just, yeah, I think considering circumstances, I've become a lot closer with them. And, um, yeah, the brother-in-law, he's a great guy. And uh, I, I am happy being in my own space, though, uh, just away from uh, 
all that goes on. There's just sometimes there's a bit too much that goes on in the village. That's not to say I could maybe live in a village again one day in the future. We don't know where life could go, but it is nice uh, being here in a city, in a like a little townhouse. I, I am en I am enjoying it here. Uh, I, I probably prefer being here now cons compared to that isolated village, but I wouldn't say it has anything to do with the Thai family. But good question, Brilliant Blue. All right, so we've got a question here from Jasmine. Jasmine's actually my sister. And she wants to know who my favourite twin is. Now, I think... I'm not too sure... Um, if she's talking about Lily and Daisy... Or if she's talking about... Herself and my brother. Because my brother and sister are twins. So my dad raised twins. So did my mum. But I will say my favourite set of twins are Lily and Daisy. I'm sorry, Jasmine and Trent. <laughs> I love yous. But Lily and Daisy are my own kids. So I'm going to say... Lily and Daisy are my favourite set of twins. Trying to stitch me up with that one. Moonlit Mama. Hope this is uh, still working on the screen. Let me just double check. Looks like it's there. Moonlit Mama. What is something people would never guess by looking at you? I thought about this one. I, I, I can't really um, think of much. Probably I've got a university degree, like bachelor's degree, but I used to drive garbage trucks. If you didn't know nothing about me, you'd be surprised by that one. I used to drive garbage trucks. Uh, and mum, mum's side of the family uh, are from Mauritius, so we've got the Mauritius bloodline. You probably wouldn't pick that one. Do you have any words of wisdom? Not really good at this sort of thing, but I just say, just enjoy your life. Uh, you don't know when your time's going to be up. Uh, there's no point feuding and you know having issues with people over silly things. Just stay positive and enjoy your life. If that's a word of wisdom, that's all I'd say. I also want to say I think you're doing an amazing job. I will try to tune in, but I can't. But if I can't, kids shower bedtime. I'll definitely watch it later. Appreciate it, Moonlight Mama, and I hope you saw that I've uh, answered your question. Another Instagram response. This is from Seacarts. Jeremy, long-time watcher. I consider him a friend. He's a bit of a Sydney sider. He's from Sydney. Uh, and he'll be, he'll be moving to Thailand in the future. I'm looking forward to uh, yeah, meeting up with him for real, when he does move out here. What's your top three favourite things about the grand metropolis of Chayapum? <laughs> I wish I actually put some thought into some of these uh, questions before deciding to read them. Uh, I, 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 what I love about Chayapum is you've got the mountain ranges, they're literally just 30 minutes out of the city, and it's, it's not a huge city. It's just a small town, really, but it's got everything you need. So you're not sitting in traffic. And I like the people. The people here are really really relaxed and easygoing uh quite often you know i'm out at the market and just there'll just be someone who comes up to talk to me and just ask me where i'm from and you know if i'm an english teacher what am i doing here because there, is, there isn't a whole heap of us foreigners in chiapoom but uh yeah i love it it's a really if, if that's three things there it's a really yeah really chilled city you need the mountains and the people are fantastic francine is there a reason the twins are featured on the Thai 3 Facebook? I don't know what you mean by that. Thai 3 Facebook. And not the baby with lots of hair. Ah, okay. Why, why did I show Lily and Daisy over their cousin next door? Uh, I'd say it's just um, that that was the channel previously. It was sort of, you know, on the family. And uh, well, well, that kid with the long hair is part of the family, but it's like a cousin, so it could be with the grandma, it could be other places at the time. Well, Lily and Daisy are going to be there, aren't they, when they're doing videos, and that's generally why people want to watch as well. They want to see how the twins are doing. When is Aussie Yai visiting? When's my mum visiting? 100% in July, but, you know, I wish sooner. I actually, uh, yeah, I miss, I miss mum too. I was actually... Um, I know you're watching, you're probably watching mum. I was actually missing her quite a lot last night. So yeah, hopefully it should be back soon. Let's uh, just jump back, have a bit of look at these comments. <sighs> hopefully I'm not going too quick and you can keep up with that. 89 people in the live stream, that's awesome. How are you going, Vic? Rowdy. What time do you land? In the morning, but I've got stuff on. If I can catch up with you, Rowdy, I'll let you know. I'm, uh, I think I'm landing at Swanapool Airport and then... I 
the next day I'm flying out Don Don Meng Don Don Meng whatever it's called, but I can speak to you on uh speak to you privately about that Rowdy. How you going, Bill? Great to see you here, mate. Ant, so me and Ant caught up in Concan when I dropped that off. So we have we had lunch at a very nice pasta restaurant. The place we we're going to go to was shut for one day only. And uh, there was a few cars parked on the road. I wasn't sure if I could park there, but it was black and white. There was no signs or anything. So I just parked behind those cars. And then we were, I think we might have been ordering looking at ordering from the menu and then uh, looking out the window. And there's the police officer there. He just locked my wheel and put the ticket on the windscreen. So lucky we went out and the police officer was still there. I did the QR scan pay, uh, 500 baht. So it, went, it, it was official. It was official. Went straight to the, the bank of the Thai Royal Police. And then he unlocked my wheel and I, yeah, the staff told me where I could park. But yeah, very unlucky. But uh, if, if the police officer had taken off, me and Ants would have finished our lunch and gone, crap, my car's locked. Then we would have had to find a tuk-tuk or a motorbike, go to Concan Police Station, say, hey, my, car, my car's locked, what do we do here? Figure all that out, pay it, go back to the car on a, on a tuk-tuk or whatever, and then hopefully by then the police officer's unlocked it or wait for the police officer to come unlock it. So it was... Uh, yeah, could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Good learning curve. J and R, Big J from Adelaide. Gather around here. Doggies, play Geelong. I think your boys are on. Uh, play tomorrow. I think, uh, I don't know if it's a night game. I think it's 4 p.m. Thai time. Maybe earlier. You play tomorrow. I don't think I'll be watching it. I think I'll be busy. Uh, I watched this uh, against, who did we play last? West Coast. I watched a bit of that. Rob in Puk Chong, how you going mate? Beautiful down there in Puk Chong. I was uh, there not long ago. Ken, hi Ricky, how are you? How's Lily and Daisy from Laura Humphreys, New Zealand? I have no idea where Laura Humphreys is, but it sounds like it's going to be beautiful, doesn't it? What a name, Laura Humphreys. Uh, doing well, Ken? Well, I'll, I'll say I'm doing well. So I went to see Lily and Daisy this morning. Great time with them. Uh, yeah. When I go there and see the babies, they're just all over me. It's just all about daddy when I'm there. I love it. Um, but I get quite upset when I leave. So I actually, I felt, I thought about canning this live stream. I came back home a couple of hours ago and I was going to can the live stream. But I thought, nah, I'm just, just going to do it. It'll make, it'll make me feel better. And um, I can go see the babies anytime. I can bring the babies here with me anytime. It's just, yeah, when, when, when you have that, those moments with them and then you come back home, it does, it does upset me. It does upset me, unfortunately. Kay, hi Ricky, it was nice to see you. Thanks, Kay. Rick Hess, you don't have to do this, mate, with a very generous $50 donation. I appreciate it, Rick. Uh, you do this quite a lot. Uh, but I hope you're doing well and I hope your family is well, mate. And yeah, I just appreciate you stopping by just to say hello. That's enough for me, mate. Yeah, I really appreciate it, Rick, really. Ah, uh, Pequan. How are you, Pequan? If you're still there, Pequan's a bit of a Thai super fan. Uh, I call her. She's always sending me uh, messages of support, and uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you're here, Pequan. I'm glad you're here. So he hot. Good answer. I hope it was a good answer. We'll jump back in and smash out a few more of these questions. 99 people there. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Let's uh, jump on some more questions because I can't leave people hanging. If I say I'm going to answer the questions, I've got to answer these questions. Nock. So Nock's, a, Nock's another loyal watcher. Great lady. Lives in the UK. She watches uh, both my channels, the Lillian Daisy channel and the Ricky Nissan channel. And she watches a lot of the Thai YouTubers. I, I believe you watch Ryan in Buriram. You watch Native Farang. I think uh, a couple of the other guys. Do you make enough money from YouTube? Can you survive from being a YouTuber? <laughs> It's a, it's a tricky one to answer that one. I guess in the short term at the moment, yes, I can. I can get by. But as those as these girls get older, they're going to need more things. I'm going to need to pay for schooling, etc. Uh, and we don't know where YouTube and Facebook and all this could go as well. So you may have more viewers, but it may pay less in the future. It, it can all change, can't it? There's no certainty, but... Can, can you survive from being a YouTuber? If I rephrase that to, can you survive from being a uh, like a social media influencer? I'd say yes. Particularly in Thailand. Do it all. 
you got to do it all legally, though, of course. But in Thailand, uh, if you've got such an audience, there's no reason you can't turn that audience into, you know, the, the Thai audience, that is. It's not going to work with people overseas. But with the Thai audience, there's, there's no reason you can't use that to help your business. Uh, a, a lot of Thai people, not this is something I can't do, but a lot of Thai people sell products online to their audiences, stuff they need, um, like the, the twins on the Facebook page for the Thai family. They do a lot of that. They're selling bags or something I see last night. But that's a very common thing in Thailand. Um, you see it on TikTok all the time or Instagram when you're just scrolling through, you just come across sellers. It, it's a very common thing in Thailand. But just in general, from having an audience who follows you and supports you, you there's, there's, there's just endless possibilities of stuff you could do and people will you know, just say you opened up a business in some form and people want to utilize that service or business, people are going to support you, aren't they? Um, so there is a lot of opportunity, but you've got to make the right decisions. But if you're just relying off ad revenue alone, you may be, you may be making enough now, but in five years' time, you know, there's no guarantees, is there? You, you say the one wrong word or maybe you have the wrong attitude uh, or a lot of other people start doing the exact same thing you're doing and suddenly you can, you can lose that, can't you? So... It's a tricky question. I can get by at the moment, but long term definitely not. But that's not saying I can't use what I've developed to help me long term. Is how I'd uh, how I'd say it, knock. But that's a that's a ripper question. Pinky Moon. Ah, oh, this is a good one. <laughs> uh, does your girlfriend want to have kids of her own in the future, or is she happy to be a mother figure in your twin's life? So the second part of that question, is she happy to be a mother figure? Absolutely. She helps me out so much. Uh, and I, I don't share this stuff on the YouTube. Uh, and, and we'll discuss that more in a later question. I don't, I don't share what she does to help me with the twins on YouTube. But I have shared it on my private social media. Like I put up a photo of her with the twins helping me out. Uh, when they're crying, we can't get them to sleep at night. She's there. She's helping me, you know. She's absolutely fantastic with them. She doesn't have any children of her own. She knows less than me, and I, I still feel like I don't know what's going on half the time. But together as a team, yeah, she helps me out so much, and she's a great figure, a great person for them to look up to. Um, and, and there's nothing wrong with having, you know, more people from all, all walks of life to uh, be there and care for your kids, aren't they? Uh, does your girlfriend want to have kids of her own in her future? We have discussed it, and yeah, she she would like to have a, have a child of her own for sure. But that's going to be in the future. So we'll just see we'll see where life goes, and you know, see if this happens later on in in, in the future is what I'd say. But yeah, of course she does. Uh, she definitely does, and I'd be up for it too. That could be yeah a biggie one. <laughs> we could get people talking in the chat. I don't know. Is an Instagram message from Muhammad. Do you plan to move to Australia in the future? If so, when? And if not, why? Uh, at the moment, no, I do not plan. I'm, I'm very happy in Thailand, uh, especially Chai Prem. I love Chai Prem. And yeah, I, I don't plan to, but it's always something that can happen, can't it? Where I might not be able to get by here. I might have to go back for the twins. I might have to go back for myself too. I might stuff things up, you know, visa-wise. Uh, it's always, a, it's, always a, it's always a possibility, but it's not a bad option to have, isn't it? That I could just go back to Australia. Yeah, it'll be tough to get going again. It'll be very tough. I'd have to live with family and climb my way up from, you know, entry-level position in a, in a company somewhere because I've been essentially unemployed for three years. But, yeah, it's always, it's always something I can do. But I don't plan to. But if it happens, it happens, you know. I'd still cherish the time I had here in Thailand. Sea carts again. Jezza, how's the evaporative cooler, mate? <laughs> that needs an update. I gave that an update yesterday, actually, on the family chat. I used it last Sunday. So I shut all the doors, all the windows, and it was crap. It was like I had a, had a nap on the couch with it going, and it's all sticky. Like, I felt so sticky. But now, uh, I just run it with the windows and doors open, and it's bloody, uh, bloody brilliant. So it's quite cold, uh... I don't know if it uses more power or less power. It takes a lot of water. Like, I reckon 20 litres of water. You fill it up. You stand there for a while to fill it up. But, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh, it'll definitely definitely be useful with the twins for sure. Here we go. Here's a question from Ant, who's here watching us live. 
this is a good one too. Would you be interested in having a meetup with nominated subscribers slash normal ones slash channel members once a year? Maybe it would have to be in Bangkok. <laughs> Look how he's wrote Bangkok. <laughs> uh, for sure. For sure. Uh, it's something I thought about. I, I thought about... You got Nadi Farang in Bangkok as well. Maybe uh, Drew's there. Drew sometimes... He's back, he's back at his son doing videos, isn't he? But he could be in Bangkok too. We could tell old mate Ben from uh, up, up north. Life in Thailand, Ben. He's, I think he's gone back to the UK for a couple of months. Just, for, just, just, just to escape the heat, really. Um... We could get him to fly down as well. Me and him could meet at Concan. I think Concan Airport's probably halfway between me and him. We're both about 90 minutes from it. So we could do something where we have all four of them go, and then maybe, maybe we might have enough people rock up. I reckon if I went and did it myself, I don't, I don't think I'd have many people rock up. Uh, I, w I, yeah, I wouldn't be doing nominated subscribers or uh, channel members because I'd be worried if I'd, I'd have two people rock up, you know? But then I, yeah, I think if, if I did a joint one with a couple other channels, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> Uh, probably would have to be in Bangkok or maybe Udon Thani. It seems to be a lot of uh, viewers up there in Udon Thani. But for sure, for sure, Ant, I'd love to do it. I just, yeah, probably for me, I just, the confidence sort of thing. I'm a shy fella. I can, I can talk to, I've got 117 people here watching me. I can talk to people in front of a camera. I can walk around vlogging. Wait, well, Thai people are looking at me like, what's this guy doing? But going and meeting people, I get so nervous. I, uh, yeah. And I've been meeting a few people lately. I met Ant, I met Jamie Sutton as well. We had, me and Jamie had lunch in Chiapurim the day after I met Ant, and um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I'm a bit of a shy person, but for sure I'd be up for it, for sure. Let me try and check out a bit of this, uh, bit of this uh, chat. Gumpdog49 recently came across your channel. Very sorry for your loss. The grieving process is unique to everyone. You have two beautiful babies, and that's amazing. Salute from Pit Sunaluk. I've got to get out to Pit Sunaluk one day. It's, uh, looks alright, I've got to, BP, another loyal watchers, grew up in that in that province, so it'd be great to uh, get out there one day. Brilliant blue, so you're here. I hope you saw I answered your question from Melbourne. Hope it's not too cold in Melbourne. Dad's on his way. Dad will be in Melbourne in a couple of hours, I believe. What's the time in Melbourne? Seven thirty. I think you'll be in Melbourne in an hour. So Dad and Sally are flying back. I've still got one more vlog, which will be up Sunday of them. But yeah, they're almost back in Melbourne now. AG, doggies, 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 all good, mate. Can you fill us in? What exactly was on that plate of dinner that cost you $12? Oh, I, sh I knew I should have uh, emailed myself the photo, but on my Instagram, Ricky and Isan, Instagram, I went to a local steak shop last night, and uh, it's called Million Steak Chayapoom. And uh, they had this, like, challenge thing. You don't, there's no, it's not really a challenge. You don't get anything for free, but essentially there was a burger... It was about four or five steaks. They weren't huge steaks, but four or five steaks. A handful of chicken nuggets. A pile of french fries in the middle. Decent sized salad and then a boiled egg. I don't know why there was a boiled egg as well. But it was 299 baht, which is 12 Australian dollars. And I was actually speaking to Seacart's Jeremy on the Discord. So I don't have a link right now, but I'm in the, I'm in the Discord, the, the Rural Thailand Discord. Get in there, have a chat. You know, there's... Heaps of people talking. So I, was, I posted that live on the Discord. It's Isan Drew's Discord. So if you go to Isan Drew's profile, you can find a link to the Discord for anyone who wants to join it. And J Jeremy told me the chips alone would cost $12 in Sydney. But yeah, I, I, I don't know how. I ate the whole thing. So I was with the girlfriend, and she didn't think I could finish it. And then she ordered a side of fries as well, which I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why we did that. So I had to help her with a side of fries. So I finished it. I had a whole Fanta in a glass bottle. Helped with the side of fries. Then I also ordered a side of mashed potatoes because the mashed potato there is... It's like my nana's mashed potatoes back in Melbourne. But yeah, I've had a few people say they want to come come eat that with me if they're ever in Chiapoom. So maybe Million Steak. It's, got, it's a restaurant in Chiapoom. will be, a, uh, will be a, a meeting spot one day. Frank and Sarah here from Chiang Mai. I hope it's not too smoggy up there. Uh, they'll just in Udon Thani. Check out their YouTube channel if you haven't. So... They're on the road at the moment. They caught the train up to Udon Thani. And they're in Chiang Mai. Did you, did you just catch the train up to Chiang Mai? Or uh, did you fly? I, I didn't quite see. I'm going to guess you flew. Because I think Udon Thani's got an airport. And it's yeah, bloody cheap, isn't it? Here we are. BP's here. YouTube didn't even tell me you were live. I posted it on uh, my Instagram story. And I think the YouTube uh, community tab. But that doesn't really pop up all the time. But oh, you're here. And it'd be bloody late. 
for you in California, I reckon, BP. So you don't have to hang around too long, but great to see you're here. Patricia, how are you doing in NZ? JNR, my girlfriend lives in Ubon Ratchatani. I'm from Adelaide. I love the Isan life. Plan to live there one day. Who are your top two doggy players? I'll be watching the game here in Adelaide soon. Um, well, you can't go past the Bont. The Bont, he's brilliant. I've got. I think there's a doggies question coming up as well. Uh, and the second one, I don't know. It, it's a, it's it's going to be a draw between Aaron Norton and Jamara Uglagen. So Jamara and, and Norton. I think Jamara might be a little ahead. I hope, I hope he. Uh, well, I, I, they're saying he's going to sign on, but I'd hate to lose him. Norton signed on for like eight years or something. Frank and Sarah, air quality in Chiang Mai is not the best. It was good when we got here, but it's gone to shit. Yeah, I hope it's not too bad in uh in Bangkok. Hello, Kin Cub Gun. Hope you're doing well. Julie Hawks, thumbs up. Everyone, Ricky does a great job, especially with the twins. I appreciate it, Julie. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Coco Nicole, how are ya? And Mums, yes, she'll be back soon. So we had a question about Mum. All right, I'll jump back in. I've got a few more questions to smash out. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Bang, bring it up. Let's go to the next question. Okay. Purple Monkey Dishwasher, you're in the chat. I probably won't see you, the, where you're up to in the chat for another 30 minutes, but I don't even know what a sleeper league is. It says, are you doing a Ricky Nissan sleeper league? Is this like fantasy football or something? I, I don't know. Sleeper League. I, I, I honestly don't know what a Sleeper League is. I'm sorry. Uh, we've got a question here from Rowdy Train. Would you, what would you do if someone gave the Twins footy jumper from a team that's not the Doggies? I'd burn it, mate. I'd burn it. Isan style. If someone tries to give my Twins a Richmond jersey, mate, burning it. We burn stuff out here in Isan, mate. David. So David has messaged me on Instagram. Why does... Be I don't know why we're discussing so much football stuff. Why does Bevo insist on playing your A-grade players out of position? Arguably the best mid in the comp, Marcus Bontempelli, as a full forward, when you have Norton, Ugelhag and Darcy. It's unreal. Dude flukes the luckiest premiership in recent history and would be unemployed if it wasn't for 2016. Mate, we hate beverage just as much as anyone else. We hate the coach just as much as anyone else. I got no idea why Bont was at full forward, but he kicked three goals. So... I'll take it. Brilliant Blue with another question. Do you ever get fed up with people telling you how you should be caring for your twins? Having had a baby in Southeast Asia, I totally understand the difference between Australia and Southeast Asia. When it comes to children, those in Western countries just don't get it. 100% Brilliant Blue. Uh, just every video does something. And uh, even just people having to go at me with the, with the helmet thing, like... Uh, yeah, I know I should wear a helmet, but no one's no one's wearing a helmet here. And you just the heat, you, you just I know I'm probably going to cop it here, but you know I'm not going to just fall off my motorbike. Okay, I could be in an accident, but if I'm in a big accident, I don't know if the helmet's going to do that much. But if I'm going on a serious ride, like if I'm going to the village to see the twins, I'm wearing a helmet. But if I'm just sipping around a corner, like I've got a 7-Eleven, 400 meters down the street, I'm not wearing a helmet for a 30 second motorbike ride. Um, but with the baby things, yeah, just every video does something. Uh, just people, people argue. I had, um, one, one person tries to give me some, some good feedback about the babies. You know, they sit backwards in the car seat. Then someone else comes along and has a go at their, uh, their feedback. It's just, yeah, it's, just, it's insane sometimes. And then, yeah, it's just when you've got the Thai viewers and then you've got the Western viewers who both have completely different standards and ways they do things, it, it is insane sometimes. But it used to really upset me. Well, not upset me. It used to really do my head in, but... Uh, I just, yeah, I just give them a thumbs up a lot now and move on. I don't really argue about it. I guess this is part of doing a, uh, doing a baby channel. Is that it? I feel like I have more questions. I definitely had another one. I'm missing a question. Oh, no. I think I've uh, hit something wrong. There we go. Yeah, this is a good one. David Carroll. Hi, Ricky. How come we not see your... How come we not seen your girlfriend yet or you don't... Or well, you haven't talked about her. Are you trying to be respectful to your wife's Thai family? If you are, that's good. But you need to know us men need a lady in our life. I was only curious. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not trying. Like, it's it's not 
trying not to, you know, offend the Thai family. They're fine with it. They're absolutely fine with it. Um, they probably ask too many questions out of curiosity when I go see the babies, which I don't like. Um, it's more the online community, uh, especially the Thai viewers. It, it's wild sometimes. So we just keep, I, I, I want to keep her private. She wants to stay private for now as well from the whole YouTube, social media scene. Uh, just because there's just toxic people out there, you know, and but, like everyone's cool with it in the comments. There's no issues, and I mean, like it's all it's all good anyway. But it's just like, uh, yeah, just people are a little crazy online, so we just want to keep it all private for now. The time will come where she'll make her debut alongside me on the vlog. Even if I'm vlogging in Bangkok tomorrow, you'll probably hear her. I mean, you can tell she's there sometimes when I, when I've been vlogging and she's next to me. It's just yeah, I'd rather keep her identity. Not that she's, you know, has some famous identity or anything, but I'd just rather keep it all hush for now because, yeah, people are crazy. What can I say? Uh, but yeah, the, the Thai family's cool of it, and I've shared, like, I've shared stuff with her on my private social media, and I'm friends with the Thai family, and yeah, th there's no issues, and uh, yeah, it's just it's it's more how toxic online can be. Two for two, Fino Beach. Do you realise how great of a job you're doing with everything you have been through? I don't think I'm doing that great of a job, but I'm. I'm we're getting there. We're getting there. But I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Not really anything for me to answer there. I don't think I'm doing a great job, but I'm just doing what what you got to do. Any, anyone in the position, anyone who was in the exact same circumstance as me, went through the exact same thing I've went through, would, would be doing the exact same thing I'm doing. It's just what you got to do. Was that it? I think that was it. Did we do 16 questions? Oh yeah, so that's all the questions. So we had that question early on when we're gonna meet the girlfriend as well. And yeah, it's time will come. There's no, you know, I haven't circled the calendar or anything like that. Time will come. It's just, uh, yeah. The online thing is uh, crazy sometimes. Uh, Nock's here. So I answered your question as well, Nock. So I hope you're doing well. It'd be what 9:30 in the morning in the UK, and probably nowhere near the temperature it is here in Chiapoom, where it's about 40. Coco watching from Pennsylvania at four o'clock in the morning. Don't stay up too late, Coco, unless you're up for work. Um, that's brilliant. Ah, oh, Bangsy. So this is another long-time viewer, Bangsy, also from the UK. Works really interesting. Uh, works a really interesting job. Shares a lot with me privately on Instagram what he gets up to. Um, but great to see you here, Bangsy, if you're still watching. You sent that message 15 minutes ago. Getting a fair few new Thai viewers popping up. Hello, how you doing? And Mar Margie agrees with what I answered to that previous question. There's no guarantees in life, uh, so you just got to yeah, live in a moment and in enjoy your life along the way, don't you? Jeez, I'm sweaty. So Rob from Puk Chong. Currently, you're in Christchurch. You're moving to Pak Chong. Very expensive out there, mate. Very expensive. And you've got your YouTube channel. So, yeah, we'll have a look and we'll uh, hopefully follow your journey when you move out here, mate. But, yeah, very expensive in Pak Chong. BP. Since YouTube pays in US dollars through AdSense, the dollar value is far more valuable in Thailand. And, yes, if I was living in Thailand and not California, I'd definitely be able to, to, live, to live off YouTube. I think she... Uh, must have ran out of space there. Oh, here we are. I'll definitely be able to live off YouTube. However, living in California, I'd have to have a huge creator bringing in millions of views per month. Every 100K views is 1,000 US dollars or around 30K baht. So yeah, BP summarizes it roughly there. Uh, and yeah, just in general, I think the Thai bar is struggling at the moment. I'm not too sure why, but uh, I think all the, all the conversion rates, I think even to do with the golds, uh, someone told me the reason the golds jumped up so much recently is also to do with the Thai bar, because the, uh, the Thai bar's struggling for whatever reason. Toby Price, kids get more expensive as they get older. Wait till they go to uni, even here. My dream, and I don't care, they can do whatever they want to do. My dream is they go to university, university in Australia after growing up in Thailand, so they can experience uh, yeah, that Australian lifestyle. And then, you know, you do your two, three, four years in uni and you can decide where you want to live then. I think that's the best way to do it, but who knows where uh, who knows where that will go to? <laughs> when will we see the new girl? I've answered that one. 
Yeah, a lot. That's coming up a lot now recently. Well, uh, yeah, we'll just take time on that one. There's um, th there's no rush to be blogging alongside her. Her dad watches me, so her dad is a loyal viewer of me now, which is fantastic. And her her family as well is absolutely fantastic with the twins. That was a worry, you know, entering a relationship, and you've got you know these twins as well. Like you don't know how people are going to react. Uh, but her, her parents are absolutely wonderful with the twins, so th that's awesome. It's just, you know, the more people there supporting the twins, they've got the Thai family already, and then they've got more people here. It's just, what, <laughs> what you can ask for. Do you drink? A question from Rowdy Train. I don't drink. I do not drink, Rowdy Train. I may have got given some drinks at a Thai wedding recently, which was 7 o'clock in the morning, and had a bit too much. I know you know all about that, Rowdy. But no, I don't drink. But if you're at a wedding, why not? I can't talk to anyone, and they'll give me the, the Hong Fong. So, yeah. It was a good wedding. I enjoyed that wedding. And why the weddings are so early in the morning, I will never understand. See, BP knows. BP's a loyal, this is BP, loyal watcher. And she knows that I uh, am not a drinker. But yeah, I guess I had, a, I had quite a bit that day. But uh, I guess you're allowed to enjoy yourself once in a while. Victoria. No one is an expert as a first-time parent. We learn as we go. Yep. And then I'm videoing all this stuff I don't know on the YouTube and then I just I just cop it absolutely cop it unfortunately <laughs> but it's just yeah I mean everyone everyone has no idea too don't they I find myself now when I saw the girls today checking their teeth because their bottom teeth have come through I think they got two two bottom teeth I, I was going to google it but I forgot to google it so the top teeth are about to come through I reckon I can feel you know their top teeth in there so I just want to sort of google you know what, what the time frame is for all that sort of stuff because their top teeth are about to come out I'm pretty sure BP misses you, Mum. Bill Simpson, evaporative coolers use a lot less power. That's good to hear. I'll I'll feel less guilty about putting it on all the time, and they work best with the windows open. But well, there you go. I figured that out on my own. They don't work well in very humid conditions. Well, that's Thailand, but at the moment it's 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 more a dry heat than an actual humid heat. Songkran's next week. Should I vlog Songkran, guys? I know every Thai YouTuber is going to vlog it. Should I also do a video? I don't really know. I've never really done it. But apparently here in, in Chaipum City, uh, it'd be quite good. Keep a few bottles of water filled close by for the air cooler. Might help. A few bottles of water filled close by. Nah, this thing, this thing is like 25 litres of water. I have to wheel it into the bathroom and use the bloody, the hose, mate, to fill it up. This thing's, and it, I didn't even have it on for that long. It's used like half a tank already, I reckon. It's, uh... It's a big tank, but if it uses less power, that's awesome. Rowdy, it was a big mill. I don't know where you put it. Yeah, I wish I could show you guys. I don't even, I don't even have Discord installed on the computer. But I uh, shared it on the Rural Thailand Discord group. Definitely check it out. You have to look at uh, Isan Drew's YouTube. Maybe I can bring it up. Um, but it's a really cool... Uh, community where we just got people talking about house builds, visas, business ideas, all sorts of things. And uh, I'm there, Drew's there, Natty Farang's there, and you can just, you can talk to us as well, you know. Um, really, really fun to uh, get on the Discord, I love it. I'm just looking on Drew's uh, profile now. There we are, Discord. So if I share my screen... I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I've stuffed something up. But if you go on Isan Drew's YouTube anyway, you can find his uh, link to his Discord for anyone who's interested in joining that. But it's just like a real positive community. Keith! Hi from Seymour. I've seen you watching another Aussie, Keith. Which is good. I like that. I've seen a few of my viewers watching another Aussie. There's an Aussie in, Thail uh, in Pattaya going through some issues at the moment. I've been watching a bit of his content uh, Hope he uh, can can win can win in his issues he's got going on. I don't want to get get involved or discuss it, but yeah, I seen you there, Keith. So hopefully he can uh, get a win there and get his life back together. Did you see more in Seymour? We've got a comedian here, guys. <laughs> BP, it looks amazing. Is that the meal I had? Uh, Thailand is the best 
place for food and so affordable. That steak meal would be $29 where I am. Oh, you would have seen it on Instagram. So it's on my Instagram. Uh, and what's 29 US dollars? Probably a thousand baht. So yeah, it'd probably be more in Australia too. Tony Sweaty Cup from Sukhothai. Frank and Sarah got the overnight bus from Udon Thani to Chiang Mai. Not the smartest, but cheaper than flying. That's alright then. I don't think I, I, I'd ever do the, do the overnight bus. Just too many bus accidents in Thailand, but you're there and that's all that matters. But yeah, I'm sure there's heaps to see in Chiang Mai. I hear it's a wonderful place. I've never been there and it's just not the time to, for me to go there, I think. But I, I hope you guys are loving it up there. Victoria. Who will win tonight? The Bombers or the Power? Can't the Bombers. Depends if Jakey Stringer turns up. If Jakey Stringer turns up, the Bombers will win. Paul, g'day from Central Queensland. I hope you're doing all right. I don't know if Central Queensland's affected, but I think there's a bit of flooding up there, isn't there, in Queensland? So I hope you're all right, mate. And uh, not too wet. Phil, how's the air cooler that your dad got <laughs> working out? Uh, yeah, it's actually all right. I, I didn't like it. I had the window shut. Didn't like it. I probably you probably already heard me answer this, but yeah, with, with the windows open, it's brilliant. I just had to turn it off because this mic doesn't have a doesn't have a fluff thing, so you'll hear the you hear the wind blowing into the mic. So I'm sweating right now. I'm looking forward to turning it back on. Just figuring out what to do with the dog. So I'm flying down to Bangkok tomorrow. I've got a few options with the dog, including just leaving him here with plenty of water and food, but then. Uh, he, he needs to go outside to go to the toilet. Unless I buy him like some artificial grass, but I don't think it'll work. But I'm just trying to figure out the dog thing at the moment. And I've got to hurry up because I've got to be at the airport <laughs> nice and early tomorrow. And I'll hopefully bring my camera and share some of this with you guys. Our children sleep outside in 5 degrees Celsius. Are you from uh, Norway or Sweden or Finland? I hear they, they just put like daycare centers, they just put the babies outside to sleep in that sort of cold like it's good for them. Are you from that way, he hot? Bye, so Bye Burium has a great little Thai channel. Another Queenslander, I hope you're doing all right in Queensland, Bye. I see there's a bit of flooding or something, so I don't know if it's significant or not, but um, thanks for stopping by, Bye. You're there every video, you always give me a comment, absolutely brilliant. I Leech, uh, looks like the twins are gonna be walking soon. You should have seen them this morning. So I was at the, I was at the village this morning just to give them a visit. Um, and they're bloody walking around everywhere with their little, I don't know what you call them, walker things. And I brought the dogs, I brought Luger too. And oh, they were following him everywhere. They want to just grab his hair and yank his hair. And he, he gets quite scared of them now. But yeah, once, they're going to be running around soon. It's going to be crazy. These two twins just running around full normal soon, eh? But um, yeah, they're, they're moving around a lot. We've got Mr. Champion tuning in from Perth. And Paul from Melbourne. Hope you're doing well, Paul. Bangsy. Lovely and sunshine in London. What's the temperature though, mate? Four degrees? <laughs> it's lovely and sunshine here. It's just 40 degrees. Shelly. I love it if you were my son-in-law. I appreciate it, Shelly. <laughs> appreciate it, Shelly. Got six grannies and you're doing a great job, Perth. Appreciate it. There's nothing wrong with uh, yeah, having... More people there to support the twins. Frenzy. Hello, Ricky. Hope you and the twins are doing good. Love and respect, mate. Appreciate it, Frenzy. Kevin, $50 for a Bombers jersey, mate. Appreciate it. But I can't do it, mate. I can't do it. I can't give him a Bombers jersey. Dad Dad will block me, mate. Dad will block me on Facebook. He'll never talk to me again. We're Footscray, mate. So Kevin's an American here, and he knows all about AFL, which has baffled me. I've, I've been reading your comments and you, you used to watch uh, the AFL on ESPN from America. I believe you've never been to Australia, but you're an AFL man. He's a Bombers man, which is uh, which is bizarre. Um, yeah, Footscray, who went out of Western Bulldogs, is my team, Kevin. And you, you, you asked me about a team that's left the league previously, and I think you, you were talking about Fitzroy, Fitzroy Lions, who went up to Brisbane to merge with the Brisbane Bears and now the Brisbane Lions. And that allowed another team to enter the competition in 1997. But great to see you here, Kevin. It must be uh, yeah late for you in America. Mahesh, we are born and then we die. It's what we do in between that matters. And that's spot on, Mahesh. Uh, what have I done? 
Sarge. G'day, mate. How you doing, Sarge? Look like a bit of a snooker fan in the photo there. That's all right, mate. Hanoi 75, you're passionate about the doggies, but you're not going to watch the game. Uh, well, I'm passionate about Formula 1 too. I'm not going to watch the Japanese Grand Prix this week. I'm just going to be busy. Um, I think where I am at life now compared to where I was last year. Last year, I'd dedicate my weekend around making sure I see the sport. Any plans would have to revolve around the sport, but now I'm just like, you've got to enjoy your life. You've got to live your life. Sport's just sport, you know what I mean? Uh, the American football, the Dallas Cowboys did it again. Had a ripper season. Lost first game of the playoffs. Woke up at 4 o'clock in, four, four in the morning to watch them lose. First game of the playoffs. First game of the finals. And I didn't care, you know. Like, sport's just sport now. I love the doggies, but... Uh, yeah, I think... Just got a different perspective in life. Victoria, any reason you don't have PayPal, it, it don't charge too much fees. I'd be happy to link it in if people want that sort of thing. I just, yeah... Just never thought about it. I've seen other people have it, but I've never thought about it. Maybe I'll yeah, put a link there, but I don't really want. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't really want all these links, you know, begging and stuff like that, or asking people for money. But I know people want to do this sort of thing, and uh, may maybe if, you know, if I do the PayPal, and people might feel better because it's you know less is going to a corporation because I don't know what YouTube takes, but less is going to a corporation, and it just helps you out. Then maybe I'll put a link in for uh, the PayPal there, Victoria. Hi Ricky, just offering my support from Sydney. I think you are doing fabulous under the circumstances. F the people asking personal questions. I struggle to haters. Watch something else. Are you telling me to watch something else? Or just in general, they should watch something else, I think is what you mean. Ah, uh, the haters don't bother me too much. <laughs> Every video I'll probably block three or four people and it's probably just the same people making a new account anyway. And when you get blocked on YouTube, you don't know you're blocked. You can still watch my content. You can still comment, but no one can see your content. No one can see your comments forever. You're just in your own little reality. It doesn't really bother me. You get a lot of hate. And it's not just me. Other YouTubers get it too. It's just part of being uh, being on the social, social, uh, social media. Do you go for a massage once in a while? From Carlton. I've never gone for a massage. I've never had one in my life, actually. Uh... So no, I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't even think they've they've got any shops out here in uh in Chiapum. How you going, Gav Reynolds? You should show it. What am I showing? As he's talking about me showing a massage, maybe I'll go for a a massage and we'll do a live stream next time, guys. And you can watch my bloody legs bending over my my neck and whatever they do. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like that sort of thing. For someone who's into the, into his exercise, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's for me. I don't think it's for me. I don't like the idea of someone walking on my back and stuff like that. Or oh, you're talking about the song crayon. So uh, this is when I asked, should I vlog song crayon? Gav reckons I should. Wit Taker, Win Stanley III reckons I should. We'll see what happens. There's supposed to be heaps of events on just here where I'm living. So I've ordered a water gun. I think I ordered a water gun last night. I hope so. But uh, yeah. Maybe I'll just stand out in front of the house with the hose and, <laughs> and soak everybody who goes past, eh? Kevin, $50 for the girls' bomber jerseys. <laughs> Buy them larger in size so they won't go out before the grand final. Mate, do you know Essendon, have, the Bombers, have not won a final since 2002? They have not won a playoff game since 2002, Kevin? Or was it 2003? Somewhere around online. They haven't won a final for 20 years, mate. They're not making the grand final this year. They might go on a little bit of a run, but they're not making the grand final. 1.40 a.m. here in California. Going to bed. Going to bed later, young man. Well, I hope you have a good sleep, mate. But don't be dreaming about a Bombers Premiership anytime soon. Because, yeah, you haven't won a, a finals game in you know, over 20 years. But I really appreciate it, mate. But I can't. I can't get him a Bombers jersey, mate. I can't. It'll break my dad's heart. It'll break my granddad's heart. They both watch the channel. My granddad's going to see this. He was a loyal Footscray man. At the original grand final in 1954, mate. So I can't, I can't get my bombers, bombers thing. But I will tell you, Kevin, my sixth birthday party, and if Mum's still here, she'll remember this. Uh, this was the year 2000. The bombers were the bee's knees. I had a birthday party at McDonald's. Everyone's painting their face, and I painted my face Essendon. So I painted my face black with the red slash, mate. I don't know why, but I did, and that probably broke Dad's heart. Gav, did you use the ice blocks that come with the swampy evaporative cooler? I did. 
I did Gavin, but I've stopped using them. So I, 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 I had a look. I went to a few like businesses. And I just noticed tyres are all using these evaporative coolers as well. And it is filling up with the garden hose, mate. And it works fine. It works absolutely fine. So I, I had it running today just with water. Warm water at the tap. Or room temperature water at the tap. No ice block at all. And it's brilliant, mate. So you know, the ice blocks don't do it. Don't do all a whole heap. Or they're not doing uh, much at all. See, Shelly as well can put ice in the coolers. I mean, I could buy a bag of ice. Ice is dirt cheap here in Thailand. But uh, just fill it up with the hose, mate. And it does uh, absolutely fine. Phil L. 34 in Jomtium. Humidity, it's 43. Bill's, Bill's taken off, so thanks for stopping by, Bill. I love your comments. And uh, I think you're a Geelong man, so I hope your team don't get up this weekend, Bill. Lewis. 39 degrees today in Nissan. Hello from somewhere northeast of TL. What's TL? TL. Thailand. Somewhere northeast of Thailand. So I'm guessing you're like Europe direction. BP, thank you for this live. It's almost 2 a.m. in California. I've got to, I've got to try and do one of these lives nice and early for my American viewers. I apologize, guys. So, good morning. So, from Ontario, Canada. Sent some lovely dresses to the twins. I featured it on the Thai channel. I'm going to feature it on the Ricky Nissan channel next video as well. I was actually editing that video today, so, so those dresses are lovely. Thank you so much, Sue. Um, apologies again for the the original response you got from my YouTube agent, but it was apparently a new worker there, so you got a bit of a rude response, <laughs> which I, I, I cracked it and I said, well, you know, this lady just wants to send a dress. Why are you responding like that? And then, yeah, it's, it's all good, but yeah, thank you so much, Sue. I appreciate it. And with the footy scores, the Brizzy Lions, 112, North Melbourne, 42. That's disappointing. I felt like North Melbourne were going to step it up a bit this year. So buy is in Maryborough, Queensland. Bendigo Hydro Blasting, you've been watching me a long time as well. Hi Ricky, could you yell a big hi Bibby? Hi Bibby, sorry if this was, uh, you sent this message nearly 10 minutes ago. Hi Bibby, to my 11 year old Lau daughter living in Bendigo. I want to see the shock and smile on her face. Well hi Bibby, hope you're loving life in Bendigo. I can speak a little bit, Nitnoy, uh, Lau. What, well, yes? Yes is men, men, men. You got chai, which is yes in Thai, but Lao, it's men. You hear that a lot out here. And no is bo. I love it. That's my favorite word. Bo means no in Lao. So Thai, it's my, but in Lao, it's bo. I just, I love it. That's my favorite word. Bo, the Lao word for no, and they, because everyone speaks Lao out here, which is confusing as hell if you're trying to learn Thai. Appreciate it, Julie. Hope you have a great weekend. Paul, absolutely great. You are doing so well, mate. Catch up with you soon. For sure, mate. Give me a yell out when you're here. Uh, me and Paul, Paul bumped into each other in Springvale once upon a time before my YouTube days. And it's just incredible that he's now watching me. Now watching me on YouTube. So yeah, hope you're doing well, Paul. And uh, so he hots from up in a Norwegian Norwegian countries, I, I hope that's what you call it. It's where you put the babies outside in the cold. So that explains why you put babies outside in minus five degrees Celsius. I'd love to see Lily and Daisy if I just put them outside and it was five degrees. I'd love to see Lily and Daisy if we went on a holiday to Australia one day because they've only been in Nissan their whole life and suddenly it's, you know, 10 degrees in Melbourne. They're going to be what the hell is going on, Dad? Toby Price. I saw a Brisbane Broncos game back in 1999 at the Gabba. No idea what the rules were, just sat down and got drunk. <laughs> that sums up rugby, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Kevin, here we go. I watched my first AFL game in 1985 on ESPN. Fell in love with the Essendon Bombers. Well, they were in their heyday. Essendon and Hawthorne were in their heyday back then, mate. My team, Footscray, I think they had a good year, 1985. But from the 50s to... About 2010, we were terrible. We were absolutely terrible. And you could argue we still are terrible. Jess, how are you doing? Jess, all the way from the UK. I'm, I'm surprised about the amount of UK viewers because it's yeah, what, nearly 10 o'clock in the morning on a work day. So I appreciate you guys tuning in from the UK. 
Gavin, yep. So I will, uh, I'll, I'll try and vlog. I'll try and vlog a bit of this weekend, what I get up to in the capital. And I'll try and vlog a bit of Songkran. Maybe I'll get a couple of vlogs. Who knows? I don't, I don't know what to expect. I've never really done it. They didn't really do it where I lived last year in a village. And then the year before that was COVID. So it wasn't on. But Frank and Sarah heading off. Appreciate you guys for stopping by, even though you're not here anymore. And I uh, hope you're enjoying your, uh, your trip up there in Chiang Mai. Lewis. I hope I pronounce it right. Easy. Everyone's song cran will start like last year, three days, 13th to the 15th of April. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, a lot of people come back from the city as well, back to Isan as well. So it gets quite busy out here. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to uh, yeah doing it and I'll try and vlog it because I've got the waterproof camera. So that's absolutely fine. Gavin, get the locally made blue pipe water gun. They are cheap but work best. I ordered one off Lazada or Shopee or one of those things. It's two litres, Gavin. Two litres. And it's, I don't know, it was like $8, something like that. 200 baht. I think we ordered it last night. I'll have to double check. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like uh, get someone to drive the motorbike for me and I'll be on the back with the bloody two litre two litre cannon, mate. That'll be good. Ah, go Lion. So... They finally got a win. They finally got a win, did they, Sharon? So you, you must be uh, very happy, very happy that you could beat up North Melbourne. But good to see you here, Auntie Sharon. Auntie Bell, earlier I tried some Thai baked wheat bread caramel. It was okay, not brilliant. I don't even know what that is. Thai baked wheat bread. Auntie Bell, in Australia, we don't swap footy teams. That's right. Lily and Daisy are Doggies fans. I don't know if I... I, I think I put it on my Instagram story this morning. Uh, Daisy had my Bulldogs hat and she was chewing on it. So she's a Bulldog supporter. I just got to get Lily on board now. And once you got a team, you don't swap teams. That's why I, uh, when it comes to the American football, uh, Dallas Cowboys, I don't know why I picked them, but yeah, I'm stuck with them now. And they do my head in. Victoria. Footy's on in 10. Enjoy your evening. Don't break their heart. I used to live in Fletcher Street. Windy Hill. It's called Fletcher Street, is it? Yeah, yeah. Footy doesn't bother me too much now. After, you know, other, you know, just where life's gone. Sports is sport, isn't it? So, Simon. G'day from India. I hope you're doing well, Simon. I see you there. Every video, you leave a comment. So, thank you so much, man. Tony, Songkran in the village will be different to Songkran in the city. That's true. Uh... What is the date? The date's the 5th today. So when is the 13th? Next weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, next weekend and the Monday. So I've got a week to prepare, mate. Got to get some... They have like the powder and stuff, don't they? And uh, hopefully my water gun arrives in time. It's, it is in Thailand. Victoria, for you and the twins for whatever. I really appreciate it, Victoria. Um, that's yeah very very generous and yeah thank you for stopping by you said you've already headed off so i guess you've already gone but yeah thank you so much victoria i appreciate it so much and yeah that that you know that that, that covers a, a box of milk for the twins so i'll definitely use that to get them more milk down to the village yappa aussie fc tp swadi car swadi carp yappa hope you're doing well i'm guessing you're in australia you got the the aussie aussie fc oh here we go she's already responded <laughs> Living in the Sunshine Coast, to be brilliant up there. I went to the Sunshine Coast once, went to Australia Zoo when Steve Irwin was there back in the day. A long time ago. Toby. Speaking Lao is easier than Thai. Bo Sep Mayoro. Sep, Sep, Sep. That means delicious. So, Bo, Bo Sep, my delicious, or not delicious. I'm learning. I know Sep, I know Sep. Or well, Sap. I probably, I probably pronounce it wrong, but when I hear it, I know it. A, a lot of the language, listening to people speak Thai, and I guess the loud dialect as well, I just, I can, I know what they're saying. I, I just can't communicate. I can't say it correctly for them to understand back. You know what I mean? But boar, I love that word. Boar means no. I say it all the time. <laughs> Sharon, I'm riding the Warburton Rail Trail tomorrow. Is there any trails over there that are close to you? There is Sharon. So when you come over here next... Um, I'm living very close to a city public park and they've got a, a ripper trail that goes right around a city public park. I often walk the dog there, Luga, but I, I do ride laps there sometimes. I think one of my recent rides, uh, I did about six laps there. So that's about it. 
But here in Thailand, Sharon, you just you cycle on the roads. You feel a lot more comfortable cycling on the roads. It looks like it's chaos, but it's actually it's safer as a cyclist because you got all motorbikes, you got tractors, you got all sorts of things on the road. Etans, you got little people selling things. So the the car drivers are less entitled here. Car, car driver drivers respect cyclists, respect whatever's on the road. You don't feel that pressure from a from a car to get out the way where they're trying to get their elbows out. You know, they actually give you room here. Andy, how is your mum doing? Yeah, mum, mum's doing great. Mum's doing great. Uh, I miss her. I miss her a lot. Uh, yeah, it'd be great if she was here right now, I reckon, to experience Songkran. But uh, mum's doing great. She can't wait to get back here for the twins' birthday in July. And, uh, yeah, she's watching all the vlogs. She'd be here watching now, I reckon, still. Uh, but, yeah, mum, mum is doing great. Just a bit cold, I think. She's in uh, Melbourne, which is quite cold this time of the year, mate. But I appreciate it, Andy. Yapa is from Callison. I don't know where that is. I hear about it a lot. I feel like it's more northeast, but really northeast, like uh, almost bordering Lao. Fiona, hello from Perth. How you doing, Fiona? Anti Bell. The last time the bombers won, they were taking something. You're probably right. Like Geelong. Geelong were a bit like that, weren't they? Mr. Champion, how about a couple of Dockers jerseys for the Twins? That would be funny. That would be it. That'd be a, that'd be hilarious, mate. That'd be hilarious. A bit of a soft spot for Fremantle, though. Probably because I've never accomplished anything. No offense, Mr. Champion, but the Bulldogs never really accomplished anything until 2016, and there wasn't much. But I do have a bit of a soft spot for uh, the Dockers. I like them. I like them. I always said they'd be my team if you know we got kicked out of the competition or something. Hello, how are you doing? Victoria, the streets before the stadium where the trams go. Ah, so in Windy Hill, Essendon. Okay. Brilliant, Victoria. Thank you so much for uh, before us. Well, really, really appreciate it. Aaron, g'day from Gold Coast, mate. I hope it's not, yeah. Hope you got blue skies up there, but I hear, yeah, it's been a bit of, uh, bit of, bit of rain. I talked to Matt, Matt from the Gold Coast as well. He's a great guy. His birthday today. So if you're tuning in, Matt, which I don't think you're going to be watching me for an hour straight, happy birthday, mate. My tie. Ties will get the 16th Tuesday off as well this year. You're correct. You are correct. As well as the 13th, 14th fall on the weekend. Yep, so it's, uh, I guess it's going to be a four-day four day weekend for uh, Thai New Year, Songkran, next weekend, which is brilliant. Aikman leaving to Southeast Asia before before Songkran. So you're going to be here for it, or you're leaving Southeast Asia? I think you mean you're going to be here. Shelly, I had a beer with Buddy's parents today. There you go, in our local Ursula. U Ursula is that the name or the place, or is that the the dad's name? The parents of the most paid footy player in the world. He just retired this year. Great family. Well, they're, they're from uh, WA, aren't they? So that's awesome. You, you are caught up with Buddy's parents. Is he still in Sydney, I wonder? Pi. Hello from Brisbane. Donna. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Donna. Hi in the UK. How you doing, Donna? Uh, be about 10 o'clock in the morning in the UK. I'm guessing it's nowhere near as warm as here, but thank you so much. Here he is, David. I mentioned you at the start of this uh, Lemon Farm Thailand, David. Check out his channel. I always tell you to so check out his channel. Um, so I got a delivery today from David. I haven't opened it yet. Um, it's in the fridge. But I know what it is. I know what it is. White Tim Tams. So I'm just trying my best not to eat them all in one go because you can't get white Tim Tams here very easily. So uh, have you tried them yet, David? They're absolutely magnificent, aren't they? Um, but yeah, David's a great guy in Buriram. And uh, yeah, the yeah, last few minutes, I probably am going to wrap this stream up shortly. I finally made it to the bottom of the chat. But yeah, glad you are, you're here for part of it, David. We had some uh, good good fun questions in the start of the, uh, start of the stream. So there we are. Mum's still here. She said hello to you, Andy, and she'll be back soon for sure. Toby used to work on the Gold Coast. There's some big money up there. What's the big money involved in? I thought it'd be more like... Uh, out, out, out of the cities, you, you can work in the mines up in Queensland. I know a guy very much uh, in Thailand a lot. 
has some good things going on. R- runs a big social media page on Facebook, uh, and he, he does half his time in Thailand and half his time working the mines in Queensland. So, yeah, if you're here, Paul, g'day, mate. He's a Bombers fan as well. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he works in uh, Queensland. Kevin, forget the Bombers jersey. How about the Hawks? The Hawks is worse, mate. We'll go to Bombers before the Hawks. <laughs> At least with the Hawks, I've seen them be good. I've, I've seen Hawthorne win three in a row. The whole time I've been alive, the Bombers have been no good, mate. Besides when I was six years old. So <laughs> we'll go to Bombers before the Hawks, Kevin. <laughs> Spot on, I knew who they were, shall we? Spot on. Here he is, Jamie. So I had uh, lunch with Jamie last week. He just got back home to Chai Poon from Nongkai. How was Nongkai, mate? About to uh, yeah, wrap, wrap the stream up, but how was Nongkai, Jamie? You sent me those photos on your email of the resort you stayed at. Looked nice, mate. So, And then you're going out to Bangkok shortly as well. So yeah, had had lunch with Jamie and he gave me uh, three big packets of... Nappies, diapers for the twins, which you did not need to do. I was just happy to finally meet up with him because you've been watching me a very long time, Jamie. And uh, a nice bag of goodies. The girls were actually wearing the dresses today. Those uh, mini mouse dresses you got for them, Jamie. So they look absolutely fantastic on them. And a few sippy cups. But uh, yeah, really appreciate it, Jamie. It was great to uh, great to catch up with you at La Pizza, my little favourite restaurant in Chiapurm. Donna, it's eight degrees. In the UK. That's too cold for me, Donna. Yappa. How you doing, Yappa? <laughs> David had one pack of Tim Tams in one sitting. You can't stop, mate. They're just so light, aren't they? Have you had them before? Uh, have you had them before? I guess you saw them when I went and met Ploy and Jay quite a while ago and I brought Tim Tams for them. Had you had Tim Tams before them, David? Come here. Did you only discover Tim Tams because of me? Because you're you're um you're from the UK, mate. So I don't think uh, unless unless you heard of them there, which you probably have. They're they're, they're pretty popular. But email it. Links don't publish on YouTube. Email at me, buddy. I don't know what I, what am I emailing? Sorry, but did you? Uh, oh, you're, sorry, you're talking to people in the chat. <laughs> don't don't mind me. But yeah, they're brilliant. Okay, so Gavin, Gavin's been emailing you. Sorry, mate. Oh, I'm, I, <laughs> I think everything revolves around me in a chat. My tie. I've got a a friend from Queensland named Paul too. All his friends call him Gibbo. There you go, mate. Kevin, good night. Got to get at least four hours sleep, mate. You got to have a bit more than that, mate. But yeah, appreciate you stopping by for the chat, mate. I love your comments, and I just can't believe you follow Australian rules football, AFL, mate. But yeah, we're about to uh, wrap this thing up. So yeah, you're not going to miss anything, Kevin. That's for sure. Yappa's at work. Hope you're uh, yeah, having a good day at work, Yappa. And it's not too hot where you are. Donna, we don't get Tim Tams in the UK. Surely you can. Because they've got them here in Thailand. We've got them here in Thailand at the supermarkets. You don't get Tim Tams at all in the UK. Surely there's Aussie shops. Aussie shops somewhere there where you can get a few Timmies, mate. But uh, yeah. You gotta try the white Tim Tams. They are the bee's knees. What can I say? I'm I'm, I'm too scared to open the box. So David sent me the box of uh, the white Tim Tams. I'm too scared to open it. It's still all taped up. I just popped it in the fridge because it's bloody hot. But, yeah. Eric, how you doing, Eric? Greetings from Bangkok. You're doing perfect there. Glad to see it's all worked out after a difficult time. Cheers, Eric, mate. You, you've been floating around for a while too, mate. So good to see you're still here watching me. And I hope you're having a a great time in Bangkok, mate. And David. A student brought them for me when I was in Bang- Bangkok? BLK? Yeah, it must be Bangkok. As a gift from Australia. They got A-grade. <laughs> so if you're ever a student of David's, you know if, how, to get the, uh, how to get the results, guys. Give him a few uh, packets of t- Timmies, mate. The white Timmies, and you're going to get A+. Plus. But yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll wrap today's live stream up. I enjoyed it. I love I love doing the ones where I get the questions beforehand as well. There were some good questions today. A lot about the girlfriend. So I'm glad we've uh we've covered all that for now, guys. And everyone's everyone's all good. We don't need to keep asking the same questions now, surely. Which I know the same questions will pop up next video. And I got another vlog with uh, Dad and Sally. They'll be up Sunday. Basically, they're heading off. Uh, 
So I hope you enjoy that one. And then, uh, yeah, we're back to the regular scheduled programming uh, next week. Rowdy Train. Ricky, Australian Prime Minister, gave the UK Prime Minister a couple of packs of Tim Tams not long ago. There you go, mate. Albanese, giving him the, giving him the Timmies. Mum, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm glad that I uh, could entertain you for Friday night in cold Melbourne. And see you later, Gavin. So, yeah, we're going to head off, guys. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like if you haven't. It does help. And, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, going to have a shower now because I'm drenched in sweat because I haven't got the aircon on. I haven't got the fan on. It's just bloody hot. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Rowdy Train, for keeping an eye on the chat, mate. You're a good admin. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Zoe, see you later. Jamie, Disco Hot Dog, good night from Hawaii. And that's right. That's right, Peter. Go to doggies. All right. See you later, everybody.